everybody, Andy here with you from Wildflower Designs and today we are going to be learning how to create a new stitch. So this is called the zigzag or the chevron stitch and to teach you I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cute um, cup cozy. So for this we are going to need two different colors or as many colors as you would like of uh, weight four yarn. We'll be using our five millimeter crochet hook. You will need a pair of scissors, a darning needle to weave in our ends, and if you choose to, you can use a stitch marker. Let's get started. Okay, so for this pattern, we are going to be working in rows, and when we are finished, we'll seam up the edge. Now this can be worked in rounds, um, but for today, I'm just wanting to show you how to do this new zigzag stitch. So we're going to work back and forth in rows, and then we'll seam up the edge and weave in our tails. For this pattern, um, we are going to be starting with a chain of 46. So what we want to do for this, for this pattern is if we wanted to make it longer or taller, um, all you have to do is start with a multiple of 11 plus 2. And what I mean by that is you can do any multiple of 11, so 11, 22, 33, 44, et cetera, plus two. So for this pattern, we're gonna be starting with a chain of 46, which is 11 times four plus two. So what we're gonna start with is whichever color we want. We'll start with a slip knot. We'll insert our hook and we will begin chaining. And again, we are chaining a total of 46. So once we've chained 46, we are going to work into the second chain from our hook. This piece will be worked entirely in single crochet. We are going to be increasing or skipping stitches, but the whole pattern will be in single crochet and it is a one row repeat pattern. So once you've learned the first row, you can go ahead and finish all the others. So for the starting row for the foundation chain, we're going to skip that first one and we're going to work into the second one here. We're going to place two single crochet. One, and two. And then in the next four chains, we're going to place one single crochet. One, two, three, four. Now to make our first zag, we'll call the low points down here zags and the high points zigs. To make our first zag, we are going to skip two chains. So there's one, two, and in the next four, we are going to place one single crochet. So I've skipped two and you can already see how that's creating a point. It's changing the direction of the yarn. So we're gonna work four single crochet across. So one, two, three, four. And in the next chain, we're going to be making our first zig. So we're gonna make our first peak. We're going to place three single crochet into that same chain. So one, and then back into that same chain, two, and one more into that same chain, three. In the next four, we're going to place one single crochet. One, two, three, four. So as you can see, the pattern is already starting to take shape. So this entire row is going to be worked the same way. So in the first stitch, we started off with two. And in the last stitch, we're going to end with two. But the actual zigzag pattern is created in between these four stitches. So four single crochet, skip two, four single crochet, three into one chain, four single crochet, 
we'll skip two for single crochet and three into the same chain. So we're going to continue that way all the way down. I'm going to show you again. So we've just finished inserting three single crochet and then four into the next four stitches. We're going to skip two, one, two, and in the next four chains, we're going to place one single crochet. So one, two, three, four. Now again, we've just made our first, our, our second zig. We're going to make another zig. So we're going to place in the next chain, we're going to place three single crochet. One, two, three. All three of those are going into the same chain. And now we're going to work another four. One, two, three, four. See how the pattern is starting to form there? That's what I love about this pattern is you can see it forming right away. So again, we're going to skip these two. We'll work into that third one there and we'll work four across the next four. four. And in that next one, we're going to place three all into the same place. One, two, three. We've got one more little zigzag to go here, so I'll work my way through this with you. So in the next four, we're going to place one, one, two, three, four, and then again, we are going to skip two and into that third one, we'll place one, and then the next three, we'll place one. Four. And we are left with one chain. And in that final chain, just like how we started, we're going to put two single crochet. Now you won't see it yet, but as you work your piece up, starting with two single crochet in the first and finishing with two single crochet in the last will give you a nice straight edge so that you have a nice line to seam up at the end. So again, this is a one row repeat pattern. So you have just learned the entire pattern and you're just going to repeat for as many rows as you would like. Now for this cup cozy, I have done 10 rows. So I've done two rows of orange, two rows of green, two rows of orange, two rows of green, and I've finished off with two rows of orange. I'm working with orange and white today. So I finished one row of orange. I'm gonna chain one and turn my piece. And this will be my second row of orange. So again, in the first stitch, we're gonna place two single crochet. One, two, and then we are going to do four in the next, sorry, one in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And then just like the first row, we're going to skip the next two. One, two. We're gonna work into that next one here. And then in the next three, And as you can see, that's brought us to the top of the first peak. And in here, we are going to place three single crochet. One, into that same stitch, we'll place another one, and another one. So we are just going to repeat this pattern all the way down. And remember, in the final stitch, you'll be placing two single crochet to help give you that straight edge to seam. So I'll finish up this row and I'll meet you in just a sec. All right, so I'm at my final stitches here. And again, in this last stitch, we're gonna place two single crochet, but we will be changing colors now. Oops. So I'm gonna place one single crochet and on this second single crochet, I'm gonna stop once I've yarned over and drawn up a loop. 
So I have these two loops on my hook. I'm gonna go ahead and snip my yarn, leaving a little bit of a tail. And I will prepare my second color here. Let's find the middle. So to prepare my second color, I am going to make a slip knot. And I am going to finish off this final stitch with this new loop that I've made. This is how we do a seamless color join. So I'm just going to pull that straight through both of those loops on my hook. And then you can kind of give your first color a bit of a tug so that it tightens it up. And we're just going to continue as if nothing's changed. So I'm going to chain one, I'll turn my piece, and I'm going to place those first two single crochet. One and two. Now before I get too far, I'll tug up and give myself a bit of room to work. I do want to tie these off so that they're not going to go anywhere. And I'm just going to do an end over end normal knot. So I'll tie it a little bit snug. And then the second time around, I can give it a good tug. Now we can leave these tails and we will weave those in at the end. So we'll pick up our piece and we will continue the exact same way. So we've already placed those two first single crochet. We'll work four into the next four stitches. And again, we're going to skip the next two and we'll place four in the next four stitches. And again, we're at the top of a peak here. We are going to place three into the same stitch. So this pattern will repeat, again, for as many rows as you would like, but I have done 10 rows and that works nicely for a cup cozy. Skip two into that next one. We'll work four. And then into the top, we're gonna work three into the same stitch. So this is the exact same pattern and then we'll repeat and repeat and repeat. Just remember that on your first stitch and on your last stitch, you're placing two single crochet. So again, I would continue this with another row of white and then I would switch back to orange and then another two rows of orange. I would switch back to white, another two rows of white and then finish off with two rows of orange. Now you can use any colors and you can use as many colors as you would like. There are 10 rows, so however you want to divide that up, you could do rainbow, you could do three or four colors, or you could do all solid color. So this is the chevron stitch. When you're done, all you're gonna do is fold your piece in half like this. Using one of your colors, you can just do a simple whip stitch all the way around and weave in your tails. And that's that, a nice simple video for you. And I will see you next week when we start diving into our first fall projects of the season. Thanks for joining me today, bye.